So since you already have your x plus a, your f of x, now you're just going to plug all of them into your formula. So since f of x equals x squared, our quotient formula f of x plus h minus f of x over h would just equal your f of x plus h, x squared plus 2xh plus h squared minus f of x, so minus x squared, all over h. Okay, so since this is positive, you can really just drop the parentheses. x squared plus 2xh plus h squared minus x squared all over h. We'll move that up a little bit. Yep, the x squareds cancel out. Can we take the common factor of the h? Yep. So we can... Yep, and actually, when you're done, if you don't find some way to cancel out the h on the bottom, then you messed up somewhere. Because each time you do this, that h in the bottom should disappear. Okay, so you have 2x times h plus h squared over h. Oh, make that a little bit longer. There we go. Yep, now you factor out an h. So you have 2x plus h all over h, where these two cancel out. So you're left with 2x plus h as your difference quotient. Alright, so any questions on that so far? I didn't even notice I did that. Oh, that's because you just replaced it here. That's why. That's your f of x plus h. That's why I meant to do that. Okay. Any other questions or kind of, sort of, somewhat makes sense? <coughs> All right. Now, sometimes they're kind of straightforward like that, and sometimes it can get a little bit lengthy and messy. So, time to show you one of the lengthy and messy ones. What are you going to give up in this? <laughs> Probably one of each. <laughs> you give us some review to do? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Yep, for exam one, exam two, you will have the practice questions. Okay, so let's say, for example, we want to find the difference quotient. Oh, and bring that down a little bit. Okay. 